Hey everyone, this is Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am creating this really easy no sew DIY. I'm going to be making these napkins for you guys and also I made the napkins the exact same way as the placemats. And I will also be applying the Farm Fresh with Iron On Transfer. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so all you need is your fabric, your measuring tape, and your scissors. Just three things to make these easy napkins. Um, I got this idea from On Sutton Place blog and I want to give her the credit for that idea. So I will link her blog in the description box below. Okay, so once you have your piece cut out, you want to go ahead and cut a small piece right here. I'm going to show you that with the scissors. Just a tiny little piece. And then you want to pull, start pulling. So you see how that fabric is coming apart? That's how we're going to begin to fray the fabric. Okay, so I don't like to pull off a whole lot at once. I like to start off with the bottom. Like that. And just start to pull apart. Okay, so I'm doing a, a, the opposite side at the moment right now. And don't get discouraged if it's not perfect. I mean, if you really like the farmhouse rustic style, you won't... I mean, to me, this is the way it's going to look. It's going to be a little imperfect but I think that's what I really like about it so I really like this part over here so now I just need to get this part even with this side kind of even not so much Okay, so as you can see, I have this side done and this side, and trust me, it is not perfect. This is my first time doing this, so I knew it wasn't going to be completely perfect, but that's that's fine. Um, I really like it the way it's coming out. So now I just need this side and the opposite side, so I'm going to zoom in and show you what I started to do. Um, I just started to pull on this part, and it just started to come apart. So this side is much easier, I guess, because of the way the threading is. I think I'm going to do a little bit more so it can match, kind of match the other side. All right, so I got this side done. Okay, so it is pretty much done. I basically did all three sides, fringed all three sides. And then I left the top one just the way it is. So you can totally leave it like this and be done with it. But I feel like, you know, to make it more fun, I would like to add a little saying on it. So I think that would be really cute. Okay, guys, so I created this on PicMonkey. And I will link this in the description box below if you want to go ahead and use that. Or you can go online and find something that you like and use that. So um, it's up to you. So just use that. And I'm going to print it out on my iron-on transfer paper. And then we will apply it to the, the napkin. Once you have your label saved to your computer, you're going to go to the Avery website, apply it here, and then it will automatically flip it the opposite way that when you do iron it on it is actually the right way so i'm just going to bring it up on here and then print it out okay so we're going to go ahead and cut it out okay so you're just going to iron your 
fabric real quick. And then you're just going to begin to iron it on. On this Avery transfer paper, there's complete instructions on there. And it just says to go over it really slowly from left to right and from top to bottom uh, for about 20 seconds each. And that should be good. Look how cute that came out, guys. Super pretty. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know in the comments below. I also did a placemat as well in this fabric. I just did the exact same thing with the fringing on the ends of the fabric. If you like these type of videos, guys, just let me know and also please subscribe. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.